Hello debutantes! I am jumping in on the Thanksgiving collab today. I wanted you all to know that I know I've done a lot of Thanksgiving prep already, but I have some more for you. So actually I have my grocery list. I'm ready to go. I had brought, brought a clipboard because I have quite a few pieces of paper. Um, my Publix takes competitors coupons, so I have a $5 off any $40 purchase or more, which I know I'm going to spend more than $40. So what I did was I went through my recipes like I said I was going to do. I read everything. I went through and I decided, okay, what can I do super early? What can I do like a week before and what needs to be done just a couple of days before? So I went ahead and I made that list. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. So I have early prep a couple of days before. Um, and then I have some things I need to buy right before a turkey goes in. So what I'm doing early prep is I'm going to prep the stuffing. I said in a, a past video that I make a sausage and bread stuffing. So I'm going to go ahead and brown that sausage, add the onions, add the celery. Um, I'm going to do all the steps up to adding the bread and the liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll probably throw that in the freezer because we're still like a week and a half out from Thanksgiving and I don't want that to go bad. So I'll prep that. I'll put that in the freezer. I'm going to make my apple pie and I'm not going to bake it. Um, I'm going to just put it all together and freeze it. I'm going to do a little research to make sure that's the best best method. Um, I've kind of read both ways, bake it and freeze it, don't bake it and freeze it, but I want to make sure my apple pie tastes amazing. Um, and then I am actually going to test out the slow cooker mashed potatoes. I'm going to do a much smaller version of those just for my family to see if those come out because I think that would be a huge stress reliever. Um, and then a couple days before I have a couple things that I'm going to do so now I have my grocery list and I actually did divide it into early prep. Those are the things I'm buying today. What I want to buy a week before and I want to buy my turkey. I want to buy more of like the dairy cold stuff because I want it to be as fresh as possible. Um, and I also don't want it to run out. So I want to make sure I get that. And then a couple days before I'm going to buy all of my fresh herbs and things. I'm going to spice my turkey because I certainly want those to be as fresh as possible. So right now I'm just going to run into Publix and then I'm going to go home and start prepping. Okay, debutantes, I am back home after my big shopping spree. And I tell you, every time I go to the grocery store, when I get to my car, I have to repack my bags. I don't understand why. I guess I'm just a little too much OCD. So I was a little frustrated by the time I left. But I am sitting down here. I've got Gilmore Girls on Netflix. I have my two recipes that I'm prepping, my apple pie and my bread stuffing. So one tip I have for all of you is, especially the newbies who are just cooking Thanksgiving for the first time, always read your recipe all the way through before you get started. Um, especially for Thanksgiving, I would prep your ingredients first so you make sure you have everything. Don't, like mine says, brown the sausage, then add the onions, then add the celery. Don't start browning your sausage and then decide to cut the onions and celery because your sausage will burn because you're not paying attention. So I would definitely prep all of your ingredients before you start to cook and again, read through your recipe all the way. The next tip is to always have a very sharp knife. Um, this is going to make your life much easier. Of course, you're going to need to pay attention if you are using a very sharp knife. So I have sharpened my knife. I have my cutting board sitting here. I have a bowl to throw my ingredients in for the stuffing. So I'm going to go ahead and prep this and then I will show you where I'm at in a minute. So I'm going to take Gilmore Girls off pause and get chopping. Okay, so the very first part of my stuffing prep is just about done. There's the sausage and the onions and the celery. Then I have in my bowl, I have my marjoram and my... Wow, nice. I might have to remeasure that. I think we'll just go with it. So this is marjoram and sage and it's now all over me and the kitchen floor. And... I have the parsley all cut up. See, this is why you want to do prep because if this happened the day of Thanksgiving and I had this huge mess to clean up and everything else, this would totally stress me out. Now, I just think it's funny. So, <laughs> on with more prep. But I wanted to show you how I'm prepping my apples for my apple pie. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off and the bottom. I wait, Basically, I want to make a nice flat surface. I'm gonna use my fabulous peeler. I've showed this before in a video. I love this peeler. And I'm just gonna peel the apple super quick. I do have a little garbage bag that I was using, but it's off camera, so I'm just gonna 
quick peel this. I know, exciting. Watch me peel an apple. You can listen to Bella snore while I do this. It does not matter what time of day. The dog is always snoring. Sometimes she's snoring and she's wide awake. That's why we call her Fat Bella. So anyway, here we go. It's all peeled. Then I'm going to take my apple core and slicer. And this is why it's important to do the flat bottom so it doesn't wiggle all over because these blades are super sharp. Let me get the knife out of the way. And that takes the core out. Saves me tons of work. And now I'm just going to cut these up into chunks like this. And I'm going to keep making these apples. I think I needed, I have my recipe somewhere. All right, where are the apples? Where's just it's an apple pie? No one needs apples. Four to five cups of peeled apples. Yes, it took me that long to read my own recipe. Okay, my last prep item is done. I have made my apple pie. I actually put it in a cake pan because I like the thought of a deep dish apple pie. I did go on Pinterest and I found a link that shows you or tells you exactly how to freeze an unbaked pie. So I'm going to follow those instructions. They say to pop it into a Ziploc, like a gallon size Ziploc bag. Um, I don't have a freezer bag. I only have these storage bags, but I think it will be fine because it's only going to be in there for a short while. This isn't long-term pie storage. If it were, I would definitely use a freezer bag. And then it says after you do that to wrap it in some um, saran wrap or press and seal. It says it'll last in the freezer for up to four months. Mine only needs to last a week and a half. So that is my very last prep item. So I thought I would show you the mess that I have made um, in my beautifully clean kitchen. This is why you want to prep ahead of time because this is the mess you have. And if you have all of this on Thanksgiving, it's just so much and it's overwhelming. And I can see why people don't want to cook Thanksgiving. And as well, I still have the pan from the sausage on the stove cooking, but this is why we want to start early. All right guys, thanks for watching my holiday, well my Thanksgiving cooking prep. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some great tips. I will try to leave um, the link for the apple pie in the description box in case anybody else is interested in making and freezing an apple pie before the big day. Um, I am very glad that I got that accomplished. I really want this Thanksgiving to go smoothly. Christmas usually goes super smooth because I make the lasagna ahead of time. Everything just pops in the oven. There's not a whole lot of prep. So I'm really hoping that's what's going to happen with this Thanksgiving. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying this Thanksgiving prep collab. I think there are one more. One more. I know I didn't participate in the first one. So, And I think that's like tablescapes and fun things like that, which I'm still working on. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And I will see you all next time.